Okay, let's start the week 17 after that hot week last week. Ah, <laughs> uh, working with Dominic. I wondered if he was in the physics lab. Gotta actually pay attention to these things. Whoops, whoops. Oh, okay. Well, there's a scene! <laughs> Okay, that's good for now, Anne. Thanks for helping me get all these books put away. I don't even know why you need them. It's not like I ever see you... It's not like I ever see you people using them. It's mostly just torturing me. <laughs> well, these are just the reference books that we have to keep for a lot of the in-class problems we talk about. I... Um... I think the torture bit was the more important clue to zone in on. Hello? This doesn't even begin to touch all the at-home reading they should be doing. There are a crap ton of books they have to use for homework and such that we don't keep here. So yeah, it seems like we maybe don't get into them a whole lot. But without them, our whole class structure falls apart. <laughs> well, I suppose we can't have that, can we? <laughs> After all, then, where would the masochist club meet on slow nights? Haha. <laughs> but seriously... I love teaching these, and I'm glad you came along to help out. It's always more fun when a friend's involved. Especially when that friend's a good student to boot. Well, I do try to keep up, though some of the concepts are above my head. You know, like some of the demonstrations, too. Heh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Not a bad day's work. Somebody complimented my efforts. Oh, yeah. So we're friends, eh? So last week didn't happen. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Playing chess. Okay. No, no, go ahead, do it. One more trip to the nurse's office and I get a free foot long. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, hello again. Thanks for all your hard work today, Anne. I really think the class grasped the fluid dynamics so much better. Why precisely is it that this job entails you torturing me? Non-stop. What? No, it involves learning. We're helping people learn. You love helping people learn. Not by being a guinea pig. Or worse, a crash test dummy. Jeez, I'm sorry, Anne. It's just... Well, the professor's got it in her head that with all those shows out there trying to do real science and stunts and all that, the students just seem to get it better when they can see it in action. You know, really get a notion for how their calculations affect things in the real world. She sets these up, and I guess... I guess I just have confidence in you. I know you can help me get through this mess. I demand some compensation, I think. Wink, wink. Fine. You know I love helping you, but this goes above and beyond. You're gonna owe me, jerk. I guess that's fair. What kind of payback are we talking here? First off, you're taking me to the bookstore for a book run. And not the used bookstore, either. Ugh, fine. Second off, you're gonna help me with an experiment about pressure. Um, okay. Come over here, and let's see how much pressure makes for the optimal kiss. If you do well with this assignment, I've got a math problem involving a piston I think you can tackle. <laughs> oh. I watch Dominic's face morph from wary to delighted as he comes in close, pulling me to him and planting a firm kiss on me. Time for our first experiment. <laughs> what a great day at work! <laughs> Indeed. Uh, I know this bed is just a cheap single, but after a long day, it feels fantastic. The last quarter has barely begun, and I'm already feeling blown out. I even made it home before everyone else. I pulled my cell phone out to put it on the charger and noticed a text from Dominic. We haven't had a chance to hang out much the last few days. It might be nice to go out tonight. Maybe I'll give Dominic a call. Absolutely. I smile and call out the speed dial contact for Dominic. Hopefully we can at least catch a bite to eat together. Oh, Anne. Glad you called. Could I ask a big favor? Um, I guess. I was hoping we could go do something tonight. I'd love to. But I've got a bunch of homework I have to get graded tonight. Come give me a hand? Well, okay. Not exactly my idea of a date, but okay. A few hours later, we've got a pile of graded papers next to us and a pizza being delivered. 
Not exactly the ideal date, but it's still good company. <laughs> Dominic grins sheepishly. I should hope so. I owe you one, Anne. Still, you made the chore very enjoyable. How much of this kind of stuff do you have to do? I mean, don't you have your own studies? That's why I'm so behind. I had a paper due and it took me too long to get it finished. Ah, that sucks. Yeah, I've already had to back off on my guild. Just not enough time. But I've got my work cut out for me if I want my masters. Sometimes I can't believe you're trying to actually get a masters in physics. I almost thought you'd want to be a drill sergeant. Hey. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just saying you've got great organizational skills, and you can be firm. Yeah, yeah. That's all the online stuff. I kind of grew into a leadership skill set leading those guys. You must be a great leader, then. Well, we're one of the top guilds. For our server, at any rate. Oh, hello. A knock on the door gets Dominic up out of his seat. This is definitely not a great date. Let me make it up to you another night. Well, let's not go overboard. My studies are pretty important to me. <laughs> Definitely. I can't wait for next time. Dominic smiles at me and we chuckle. <laughs> Sleeping again. Teaching with Dominic. All right, so as Dominic has so gracefully he volunteered to stand there in my place while I pour this oil over his conveniently and accidentally shirtless torso, his cut, firm torso, it's your job to something-something calculations. I really did not volunteer for this at all. <laughs> Who's awesome? I'm awesome. <laughs> Getting to take his shirt off. <laughs> That's hilarious. I should have been paying attention more often. I'm not really sure what I want to do tonight. I should probably get some work done, but it's Saturday and I feel like taking a little time to myself. I respectfully request that you back off. With all due respect, please stay away from me. I turn for a moment, wondering if Rakesh is talking to me, but I don't think he is. He's got a notebook in one hand and he's tapping it with a pen in the other. He seems to be considering what he wants to write down. He looks up from his notebook and catches me looking at him. Ah, Anne. Welcome home. I must tell my parents how I feel. If possible, without telling them how I feel. He looks at me as though I've got the answers hidden in my back pocket. I'm not sure what to tell him. Uh... I don't... Do I get involved? I don't really want to get involved. I, had, I want to save some things for when I'm on his route, so maybe I'll just skip that this time. Oh, well, um, I'd help, but I couldn't possibly hope to understand all the feelings you would need to put into a letter like that. I know you can do it, Rakesh. Do your best. Rakesh nods at me with a mixture of disappointment and bewilderment in his eyes. He turns and walks away upstairs. I can't help but feel I've dodged a bit of a bullet there. I really don't want to get into the middle of Rakesh's family squabble. <laughs> yeah, not yet anyway. Okay, I think we'll do another one. I think I should attend class, maybe. Hmm. I think sleep early. Class, nap, chess, study. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll try that anyway. See if that helps us at all. Okay, let's go. Okay, we got our rational to where it needs to be. All right, so with my intrepid assistant up against the wall, figure out the necessary force and weight necessary to land the knife near, but not in her body. <laughs> this isn't just knife throwing. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? As I sit in my room, I find myself staring at the ceiling. It's been a good year so far. I've had a lot of fun, gotten used to college life. I've even gotten together with Dominic, most importantly. But as I think about what I've got done this year, I can't help but feel like I haven't really made a lot of progress on my greater goals. I mean, I 
came to college to get away from my surroundings, to get out of my comfort zone. I guess I've done that a bit. I feel like I've gotten more confident, but I still feel so shy. It kind of terrifies me, but... I feel like I have to do something big, really get something going. Maybe if I can, I can feel like I've truly left my old life behind. Like I'm really ready to claim this new life I'm leading. Sure, let's do it. I call up Carmen, and 20 minutes later she's in my room as we discuss what I can do. Oh, I've got it! You know what you need to do, Annabelle? You need to throw a party! What? No way! How would I throw a party? I wouldn't even know where to begin! Exactly! You're trying to cement the new you, right? The best way to do that, and really break out of your shell? Throw a killer party! I, um... I think you're right. Of course I'm right! Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! We'll have to find a space to hold it in and figure out who to invite. We can't just have it here? And what, invite your housemates? That's not very far out of your comfort zone, Annie Bell. Come on, think big with me. Okay, okay, you're right. You're gonna help me though, right? Of course. You don't have to do this alone. I'm right here with you. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Thank you so much, Car Car. Ooh, we're gonna need some entertainment too. Um, well, hmm, I guess I should take care of the entertainment, because I could ask Max, right? He's got a band. He could play at my shindig. I'll try that. I'll try asking. I hope Anne has the same idea, asking Max. I'm sure I can think of something fun to do for people. Well, not to put too fine a point on it, Annie Bell. But don't you know a rock star? See, Carmen and I are on the same page. Oh my gosh, yeah. That's a good that's a good idea. Of course it is. We got some other stuff to do though, okay? Definitely. Oh car car, this is gonna be so much fun. I know Terrifying. But fun. Carmen and I hug as we squeal over our plans. This really will be a lot of fun. I can't wait to see what happens. <laughs> Me too. Oh. I give a stretch after another long day of classes. I'm looking at the stairs thinking how nice it's going to be back in my room. As I head up, I think about maybe stopping into Dominic's room, though I'm not sure if I want to disturb him. Disturb him. I head upstairs and drop all but a few of my books off. Smiling to myself, I head back out into the hall. I knock on Dominic's door, clutching my books. Part of me is just excited to spend time with him. I can tell he is too, from the smile on his face when he opens the door. I've got some studying to do, and I'd love some company while I do it. Dominic nods vigorously and opens his door wide for me. I'm always happy to get you to help you get the most out of your education, Anne. You really need to work on your pickup lines, Dominic. <laughs> How about offering like a study break or something, man? <laughs> <laughs> we both laugh as he closes the door behind me. For the next few hours, we get a lot of homework done, while still having a lot of fun talking. Aw, that's good. Got all these cubes. I wonder how many we need to place in the giant vat to place all the water. <laughs> Do it quick, Anne can't hold her breath that long. What? What are you doing to me? Zzzz. Thanks, Car Car. It's still early in the quarter. I'm not sure what to expect from Professor Merriweather. Still, it should at least be entertaining. Oh boy. All right, if you're in this class, you've probably got the basics down. Which means it's time to start getting serious. Now normally, we do this sort of thing in a lab, but today is, a spe is special for two reasons. Number one, some brain genius decided to mix glycerin with KMN04 in our labs, meaning there is now an opportunity for alternate environment learning. Secondly, the morgue is full and my contact is on the cheap. <laughs> as soon as she says that, one of the professor's TAs walks into the room, pushing a cart with a blanket over it. And a suspiciously body-shaped lump under the blanket. Oh no. This is a 103 class. I'm pretty sure we're not up to this stuff yet. 
As soon as I see the look of glee on the professor's face, though, I know we're going to do this. All right, better question. Who wants to make the first incision? Don't worry, he's dead. He complains very little. Around the room, everyone seems unsure what to do with this. A few hands tentatively go up. Come on, come on! You won't get a chance like this for another two or three years. Um, Professor Merriweather, are you sure this conforms to regulations? I'm sorry. I thought this was biology. Apparently, it's intro to law. Well, as it turns out, I've probably got a degree in that too, so how about you shut up? Oh, okay. As a matter of fact, looks like someone just volunteered to take culpability. I mean, the first cut. Oh, great. <clears throat> I need water. Just a second. <laughs> Uh, doing her voice dislodge something. <coughs> oh, and I needed to drink it down. Okay. Uh, moving on. The professor stares at me as the entire cla rest of the class turns to look at me with a mixture of amusement and horror. I wait a few moments to see if the professor is going to change her mind. But finally, I stand up and walk down to the front of the class. Here you go, Captain Rules. How about you choose our lesson plan for today? Pick a spot. We'll examine whatever you cut up. The professor hands me some plastic gloves, which I put on as she stands there staring at me. She then hands me a scalpel and I look at the body. Luckily the TA left his face and lower half covered. I walk over to the corpse and try to figure out what I'm going to do. I could refuse to cut. Interesting. Well, if we're going to be doing this in two to three years, I guess we might as well get a head start. Um, the belly, I guess, would be easier to cut into, maybe? I don't know. I think about what I'd rather study today as I move over the cadaver's belly. I make an incision just below where I think we should get access to the appendix. Oh, good question. So many people have appendicitis these days. I wonder if he even has one. All right, let's take a look for that appendix. If that's not there, I'm sure we'll find something fun. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the lack of blood. That's because they drain these things and because I'm not a complete idiot. The professor looks at me just standing there and makes shooing motions. I slowly return to my seat as Professor Merriweather begins her lecture properly. I can't believe she had me do that. It wasn't my favorite, but it was still a fascinating learning opportunity. Good job, man. View it positively. I gotta do more organized stuff, apparently. Oh, well, I'm almost there. Okay, well, that schedule worked out fine. I was back up to 100% by the end of the week. I, um, so let me look at my stats. Rational is where it needs to be. I just need to get... I organized up a little bit more and we should be in the clear. 